Here we go with problem number four. Um, so we are looking for the probability that a student has either a visa or a MasterCard. So the probability for or, so or probability is different from and. Notice that and, which we used before, had this little guy right here. Or has basically the same symbol, but it's flipped upside down. So in order to figure that out, in this case, the probability of event A, we are going to make event A is going to be the probability that they have a visa, okay? So probability of A is the visa. Probability of B is going to be the MasterCard, okay? So in order to find the probability of A or B, so all I'm doing is recopying down the problem right now, I have to take the probability of A, so the probability of A happening is 0.60, I need to add it to the probability of B happening, and in this case, that's 0.20. And then I need to subtract the probability of both A and B, which was given to me right here. So I've got to do 0.60 plus 0.20 minus 0.12. If I do all of that, I end up with the probability of 0.68. Part B of this problem asked us whether or not these events were independent. And remember how we need to do that. We need to take their, we, we know this from homework problem number three. If we can take the individual probabilities Okay, of the kid having a visa and a MasterCard and multiply those together. So that's going to be 0 0.60 times 0 0.20. And if that number ends up being the given probability of both of them happening in the problem, that means that they are independent to each other. Well, 0 0.60 times 0 0.20 is in fact 0 0.12. So because those two numbers are equal to each other, that means that these are independent.